If the lighting wasn't perfect, I wouldn't record. If I had a pimple, I was like, no. Because I was like, no, why should I share this? I am literally nobody. I am not good looking. I don't have a good physique. Why should I share this? I'm too busy right now. A lot of things are happening. I don't know if I can do it. It's just I'm traveling a lot. There's a lot happening. My thinking is, that is the perfect moment to start and here's why what is good what is good welcome to episode one of my first ever podcast i'm not sure what it's going to be called yet maybe i was thinking of what's next but then i checked and it's already taken so i'm not sure what the copyright thing issue is there but i was thinking what's next what's next i kind of like that name however if i can't choose it <laughs> I will obviously go with something else, but yo man, I'm super, super excited. Like this is going to be so insane because here you'll just be seeing more of me, authentic me, authentic Dominic, just talking his thoughts, talking about interesting topics, fitness related, health related, even things like even other topics, probably financially, mindset, anything that is really on my mind and just raw thoughts, raw value and raw footage so <laughs> i'm saying this again and i'm laughing a lot like i am excited man this is so so cool and i've been waiting a long time to start this and actually that is sort of touching on the topic i want to talk about today because my whole life my whole life i always waited for the right moment to start certain things i waited until things were perfect everything was aligned and truth is that never happens and as a result i never took action so today i was like okay i had it on my calendar things came up i was doing other things and then i still had it on my calendar podcast episode one and i was like i don't know i'm not ready i'm you know those thoughts that came into my mind and then i was just thinking like no dom that's the old you that's the old you the old you would have said no you're not ready you haven't come up with a game plan, you haven't done X, Y, Z, I don't know, whatever excuses I used to come up with. And no, I'm a changed dude. And that's why I was like, my actions have to align with that new identity. So we took action and we press record and here we are. So in today's episode, I wanna talk about procrastination and more importantly, just waiting or the fallacy of waiting for the perfect moment to start. As I said, <laughs> when I started out with anything, I used to like, I used to just wait until everything was perfect. Like everything had to be perfect. For example, with content, I wanted to start content a long time ago. And back in the day, if I, if, if the lighting wasn't perfect, I wouldn't record. If I had a pimple, I was like, no. If for some reason, I don't know, I wasn't wearing the right, right clothing. Ridiculous things like that. I didn't have the right phone. I didn't have, I don't know. I came up with a bunch of excuses and as a result, I never filmed. And one thing I actually regret, for example, with my fitness thing, is I didn't document enough my struggles, my starting points. Cause I was like, no, why should I share this? I am literally nobody. I am not good looking, I don't have a good physique, why should I share this? And the truth is now, my perspective shift on this is like, okay, if you genuinely believe that you are going to achieve the goal you wanna achieve, why wouldn't you document it? That's my thinking now, because it's like, if I believe, if I genuinely believe that I'm going to get there, why wouldn't I document it? Because then I have all the footage to later show and share my story, share my journey. So that's my thinking now. And the regrets I have is one of those things. And just back to being perfect. I feel like so many people just, including myself, like I said, <laughs> I used to, just they never take action. They never change their life because they're waiting for the perfect moment to start. Whether that's starting your business, getting into shape, people just wait for the perfect moment to start. And truth is, it will never be perfect. An analogy I like making, for example, with getting into shape, people are like, I'm too busy right now, a lot of things are happening, I don't know if I can do it. It's just I'm traveling a lot, there's a lot happening. 
My thinking is that is the perfect moment to start and here's why. Because if you can figure it out when you're at your busiest, when everything is happening, everything is going on, you will be good for the rest of your life. Think about that. Because if you know how to do it when you're at your busiest, you will be good for the rest of your life. And if you don't figure it out when you're at your busiest, whenever you do get busy, you'll always have that underlying excuse of like, I don't know how to do it when I'm busy. And we can all agree that consistency is key to anything, to any success you wanna achieve. So now if these things come up more often than not, your consistency will be all over the place. And as a result, you'll get to your goal a lot slower and maybe never. So again, stop waiting for the perfect moment to start. Just fucking start. If you wanna produce content, turn on the camera right fucking now and produce your first piece of content. If you wanna get into shape, go to the gym right now and do something. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It doesn't matter, but you're taking action into the right direction. Because look, we often think that thinking creates more clarity. Truth is though, that thinking just creates more thinking. And I actually got this from someone called Vin. He's pretty big in the communication space. He's a, that guy is quite insane when it comes to communication. His, his keynotes, I watched it, it is so insane. The way he gravitates or he, he is able to gravitate an audience is quite remarkable. But back to his point, it's just like, he sort of said like thinking or we think that thinking creates more clarity. Truth is though that thinking just creates more thinking. And the only thing that creates more clarity is taking action. Because for example, an analogy I like making is I went to college for half a year. It was a whole huge thing. I wanted to go to college in the US and I dropped out after one semester. Thing is, I only had the clarity afterwards because I thought this was the thing I wanted to do and I took action on it. However, thinking about it wouldn't have been the solution. I would have never known if this was the right thing for me. I made the right decision, in my opinion, to drop out. I guess we'll never know. But in my opinion, in hindsight, looking back to drop out. But if I had never taken action, I would have never known if it was the right step or not. So any piece of advice I would give my younger self, is just bro, bro, take fucking action, move. Stop thinking, just fucking move. If you wanna do something, do it. Cause that's the only way you'll know if this is the right thing for you or not. And I just really wanna round this episode off with, cause I feel like I'm going a little bit in circles, but just like, again, Waiting for the perfect moment is not going to get you anywhere. One life. Think about it. And we know how quickly time flies. And the thing is, like, <laughs> I will say this again. I'm speaking from experience. I've been there. And it's just like the pace I've been able to move at in the last even year compared to the last five years is night and day. Now, if I want to do something, I'm like, what's stopping us from doing it now? What, what's stopping us? Like literally, or tomorrow, whatever. Like fucking speed, because I know, first of all, <laughs> success loves speed. But like just in general, like just getting shit done ASAP instead of being like finding excuses, procrastinating, etc. That will just keep you stuck. Keep you stuck in the exact same spot. I don't want that for you. And that's why I'm sharing this. So that was sort of episode one. Like I said, this will just be me, raw footage, talking, speaking, speaking my thoughts about a topic that I really, really want to touch on. So I'm looking forward to episode two. This was a short one, but yeah, I'll see you guys then.